Hi, in this small session, we are going to discuss one of the important outcome of right angle triangle for the CAD, JAT, SSC and other aptitude examination. I want jab screen pe question I please pause the video and try to solve this question. So question is in front of you. ABC is a right angle triangle at C. We have a right angle triangle then encircle. The data AD is given 4 unit and the BE data is 5 unit. Then what is the length of the perpendicular CG on hypotenuse AB? Please pause the video and try to solve this super easy question. Oops, this is not super easy if you don't know the concept. So we are going to learn the complete concept of this question. I hope you have solved this question before giving my explanation. Let's check the outcome. Whenever we have a right angle triangle and in circle, if I say the AD is X, then say this point is F, AF should also be X because tangents are equal. If I say B is Y, then the BF is also Y. So we can say the hypotenuse AB is actually equal to X plus Y. I hope this one is okay. If we need to find the perpendicular length, say the CG. So we can say the half into base into perpendicular CG is the area of triangle. So the length of CG is actually equal to 2 into area of triangle upon AB. If we get the area of triangle and we know AB is X plus Y, we get the CG. So you would surprise to know the area of triangle ABC is actually equal to X into Y. The product of these two lengths, this is the area of triangle. So the CG length is actually equal to 2XY upon X plus Y. This was one of the most important outcome of this session. So please note it down. The length of CG, that is the perpendicular on hypotenuse is actually equal to 2XY upon X plus Y. This was quite easy, the speed average you can say. So a person is moving towards some speed A to G this point f the another person is moving with the speed of y from b to y then the speed from c to perpendicular on a b is the speed average you can say now you can get easily x plus y is the value of a b how can we get the product of x y is the actually the area let's prove this one since a d is given x so this point say the f is also x I hope it is okay. Now, assume the BF is Y, then the B is also Y. If this one is a point of the center, we can say this one is in radius. Say the O. So, CD is R, C is R in radius. What is the semi perimeter of this triangle? We can say the semi perimeter is the R plus X plus Y. What is the area of triangle? Area of triangle is equal to in radius into semi perimeter which is equal to R into X plus Y plus R. So this one is what? From where we get this formula? We know the in radius is equal to delta upon S. So the delta that is area is equal to in radius upon S. If we get the value of X plus Y plus R, we get some outcome. By the Pythagoras theorem, we can say that X plus R whole square is equal to Y plus R whole square is equal to X plus Y whole square. I hope it is okay with you. That is AC squared, which means X plus R plus BC squared, which means R plus Y is actually equal to AB squared X plus Y. Let's expand this A plus B square formula. A square plus B square plus 2RX. Similarly, Y square plus R square plus 2RY equal to X square plus Y square plus 2XY. I hope this one is okay. Now, x square x square cancel out y square y square cancel out so we have what we have 2 r square plus r square is 2 r square then 2 common 2 rx then 2 common 2 ry is equal to 2 xy so 2 2 cancel out take the r common so the r into x plus y plus r is equal to xy and this outcome is actually the area. So the area of right angle triangle is equal to x into y, where the x is the point from the vertex to tangentia point. So we get the value of what area, which one is product of x into y. Now we need to solve our question. If this one is x or this one is x, if this one is y, this one is y, we can say the half into base, 
which one is AB into perpendicular that is CG name it CG is equal to area of triangle and we just found area is equal to XY so the CG is equal to X to y upon a b and the a b is x plus y so this one is one of the important outcome i hope ab aapko pata chal gaya hoga so let's all solve our question a d is given 4 so the a g is 4 b is given 5 so the b g is 5 so the c g is equal to 2 into 4 into 5 divided by 4 plus 5 the total length is 40 divided by 9 is answer of this question so you can solve this question with the help of basic outcome or the Pythagoras theorem or you can expect this question in the form of right angle triangle or the speed ratio formula. I hope both have got clear hoga. If you have any question, then definitely solve it. And many questions on our Facebook or Telegram pe bhi upload. Hote rahte so join the Facebook and Telegram group and this channel ko bhi ab subscribe kar lo, like kar do video. Ko. Bahut kuch information, bahut achche concepts share honge, jo aapke exams ko definitely help karenge. Aur bahut saare course for the upcoming exams bhi launch honne wale hain. Isi channel pe update kiya jayega. Toh ap channel bane raho, apna best dete raho. Aur mera ye maanna hai ki when we study from the basic to concept and the practice, definitely exam mein isse bahar question to nahi aayenge. Myself hum ye, mein de raho apna best, aap do apna best and let's crack all the examination with the fraxic marks. God bless you, happy learning and bye bye.